Tantor Audio, a division of recorded books, presents Breaking the Cycle, Free Yourself from Sex Addiction, Porn Obsession, and Shame by George N. Collins, M.A., with Andrew Edelman, M.A. Narrated by Sean Pratt Introduction Bob nervously watched the big TV as the seconds counted down to Super Bowl halftime and the football teams left the field. It's halftime, said Bob to his wife. I'm going to make a quick business call. Bob got up from the couch and walked down the hall to his oak-paneled office. Already lost in his addiction, his mind was cluttered with images regarding what he was going to see on the computer screen. Bob was in such a hurry that he quickly shut the door behind him, neglecting to turn the lock. He rushed to his large desk, sat in the luxury leather office chair, and flipped on the thirty-inch monitor. Out the window was an incredible view of the mountains, but Bob didn't see it. His eyes saw only the computer screen as his fingers quickly reached the website he wanted. Having been there so many times, he was able to quickly sign in and navigate to a specific video. Finally it started. Bob pulled down his sweatpants so his genitals were exposed. He moved into just the right position in the chair and began his very familiar ritual of masturbating to these types of images and videos. He had seen hundreds over the years. His wife had caught him three times, and the last time she said that the next time would be it for their marriage. Bob had tried to stop, but didn't. So here he was again, thinking of nothing else but the images on the screen. On his monitor was a video of a young woman being forcefully held down and sodomized by three men in masks. Although Bob had never done this in real life, and most likely never would, watching domination is what got him the most turned on. His right hand in motion, Bob got more and more excited. He was lost, gone, and he didn't hear the door start to open. Bob usually double-checked the lock on the door, and like most addicts, he lived with the illusion that he would never slip up but this time he was in such a hurry to do what he needed and get back to the game that he thought the door was locked. It wasn't. Just as Bob began to climax, his ten-year-old daughter opened the door and stood there, motionless, shocked, and terrified at the sight of her father ejaculating to the horrendous images on the computer monitor. Melanie ran screaming to her mother. Bob no longer lives at that house. His wife had warned him that he was down to his last chance, and her attorney showed no mercy toward Bob, not after what Melanie had seen. Sample complete. Ready to continue?